All right, so we're going to start with an AB pattern, and you're going to write lowercase a, lowercase b. That's going to be your pattern, lowercase a, lowercase b, lowercase a, lowercase b. Please write your pattern, your AB pattern. All right, so we're going to start by saying the letters and the sounds. The name of the letter is A, the sound of the letter is A, the name of the letter is B, the sound of the letter is B. The name of the letter is A, A. The sound of the letter is A. The name of the letter is B. The sound of the letter is B. The name of the letter is A. The sound of the letter is A. The name of the letter is B. The sound of the letter is B. Now I want you to work on an uppercase A, B pattern. So it's uppercase A, uppercase A. B, that's your new pattern, uppercase A, uppercase B, uppercase A, uppercase B. All right, and we're gonna say our letters and sounds. The name of the letter is A, the sound of the letter is A, the name of the letter is B, the sound of the letter is B, the name of the letter is A, the sound of the letter is A, the name of the letter is B, the sound of the letter is B, the name of the letter is A, the sound of the letter is A, the name of the letter is B, the sound of the letter is B. All right, those are some great patterns. I'm going to erase my patterns. Will you please erase your patterns? All right, before we talk about the BA slide, I want us to practice making our slide arrow. So I want you to take some time right now. You're going to start on the light left side of the board and you're going to draw a straight line and then you're gonna make the arrow, which is diagonal back, diagonal back. I want you to make six slide arrows. Just practice making the slide arrows. I call these slide arrows because when we put them under letters, they slide together those sounds slide together and they create a new sound. So this is our slide arrow. It goes to the right, just like we read to the right and we write to the right. We start at the left, we go to the right. So it slides to the right. All right, now that we have practiced our slide arrows, now I want us to write two letters. The first letter I want you to write is lowercase b and then the lowercase a right next to it. When we write it this way and it doesn't have a slide, it is b a. When we make our slide under it, it becomes a new sound. It becomes ba. Can you say ba? Ba. I like to say, think about being a sheep and I say ba, ba. That helps me to remember my ba. When I put my side under it, it becomes ba. So I want you to write three ba slides. So don't forget your arrow afterwards. First you write b. Next, you write A. Last, you write the arrow. Don't make your arrow first, make your arrow last. So first the B, then the A, 
last is the arrow slide. Now we're not going to say the names of the letters because now we have sounds. So we're just going to read the sounds. Are you ready? Ba, ba, ba. Let's do that one more time so we can get it in our heads. Ba, ba, ba. All right, what I would like to do with our sounds of ba is I want to start thinking about some words that start with ba. And so I have ba, ba, and if I turn it into a word, I am not going to have my arrow anymore. We only have our arrow when we have our two letters together to make a sound. But once we turn it into a word, we are going to mark just our vowel. And our vowel is the A. And if we add that consonant, I'm adding a T at the end because I want our word to be bat, bat. You may write bat on the board. This bat can be like a bat that flies or a baseball bat. All right, my next word is going to be bag, bag, and I mark my vowel, bag, bag. I put my groceries in a bag, bag. My next word is going to be bad. Mark my vowel. Bad. 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 David in our story last week made some bad choices. Bad. And the last word that I want us to talk about is bad. We have our TH, we stick our tongues out. Bath, mark my vowel. And now I have bath, bath. I like to take a bubble bath. All right, my friends, I am going to stop this.